hey everybody welcome back to another video welcome back to my channel it's good to have you here before we get anywhere listen click the subscribe button we're trying to get to 20k subscribers we're really trying to get there real quick we're trying to get there real quick um yeah but this is a really really important video for me and i hope that it will help you as well this is going to be a video where i talk about personal development in all spheres and good healthy habits that you can cultivate that can increase you know your understanding of personal development but not only that but can increase your personal development of you your growth as a person uh really really important to me to talk about this because personal development is a uh important part and aspect of my life and i wanted to share with you what things i do what i do <laughs> to cultivate personal development in my life and to just uh, make me a better version of myself. I always love, love, love to say better version of myself. That is what I strive for each and every single day. And I wanted to share some of the things that I do. These are the habits. I don't know how many I've got. <laughs> so I'm not going to say the 10 habits or the 8 or the 7 or whatever. These are the habits that I do to cultivate personal development for myself in my life. And that might help you let's get into it okay so first things first journaling now i picked up this one because i've been filming and this is the closest one to me but i do have another journal this is very very specific and subjective to the person that you are but journaling is so extremely important it's, ex it's important to write down your thoughts it's important to write down your goals. It's important to write down your affirmations. Write them down because, you know, it's one thing to say them, but when you write them down and you reread them over and over and over again, it cements the whole ideology and notion into your mind and you actually live it. You become a living, walking, breathing affirmation each and every single day. Journaling is very, very important for me. I journal when it comes to my faith. Again, this is very subjective. If you're not somebody who is very big on faith or you are of a different faith to mine definitely it works either way um journaling when it comes to my faith is very very important and i do that in conjunction with my bible um but a lot of the time you can even just journal i have another journal where i'm just writing down my thoughts my favorite quote. if you just take some time out of your day to journal whether it's in the morning or whether it's in the evening we do know that all of us are busy throughout the day so whether it's in the morning or in the evening it's a really great way in which you can cultivate yourself and become a better version of yourself that's point number one journaling do it do it but before we continue here's a quick word from our sponsors yes uh this video is sponsored by skillshare inspiring discovery through creativity at skillshare it's an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people we're looking at classes like photography video freelancing illustrating journaling productivity every single thing that you can think of under the book to make you a more creative and more inspired version of yourself especially when it comes to your line of work this classes on architecture listen there's classes on each and every single thing and given that we are at the beginning of the year why not indulge yourself in learning a new technique or being part of a class um, where you can harness something really really special that you have developed in yourself and you want to be better at this is a really really great platform especially for productivity and right now as we're talking about journaling you can get all you need to know about journaling what is it what's bullet journaling how you can integrate gratitude self-discovery into um, your journaling and personal development it really really is about what fascinates you and what you want to do better at and how you want to be better so it is a great way for you to enhance to empower to enrich yourself in an easy way where you can do it at home sitting in front of your tv <laughs> on your desk anywhere you want to be but skillshare is really really a great way in which you can find inspiration and take the next step into your creative journey so definitely do check them out all the information will be in the description box below 
and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. <laughs> The next point for me, which is really, really important is cultivating a stringent daily routine. Now, if think about it, if you have a stringent, firm morning routine where you know that even though you're working from home, but you got to wake up, you got to take a shower, you have to make your bed, you have to get yourself in tune and ready for the day. This on, not only encourages productivity, but also at the same time gives you a sit um, form of steps in which you can do each and every single day that enhances your day and makes it better. Think about if you are just waking up, no plan. Today you wake up at this time and you decide to shower at 1 p.m. The next day you wake up at 6 o'clock and you decide to shower at 8 a.m. The next day you wake up and you do this or you do this. Whereas if you've got a strict routine of how you're going to structure your day, it's a really great way not only, again, to encourage productivity, but it's also a great way to form some sort of order and organization to your life. It's a great way because it also com compartmentalizes what's going on in your brain so you know that I have to do this so that I can do this. Then I can do that from that step. So it moves in that way and it's a great way to also, I, I keep saying it's a great way, but it's honestly... It's a great way. It's also a great way to um, just structure and organize your thoughts and your plans for the day that encourage productivity. Really, really great. And productivity for personal development, absolutely. We're here. Also, another important part of personal development is move. Move your body. Exercise, walk, Pilates, yoga, whatever it is, encourage stretching. If you're not somebody who exercises that much, that's fine, that's okay, but encourage some form of movement for your body. Take walks if you have to, stretch your body in the mornings and in the evenings before you go to bed. Do something that moves your body because um, it's not only a great way to just be more limber and more versatile, but also it feels good. So when something feels good, it's more, it encourages more of that action because you're going, you're going to constantly, I feel like I'm talking so fast that uh, you're going to constantly try and push to have to do that thing every single day because it puts you in a better frame of mind. You'll often hear people who talk about going to the gym saying, I feel so great afterwards, or people who do exercises saying, I feel so great and ready for the day afterwards. It's because it releases those endorphins that make you feel better about yourself. And when you do something like this each and every day, it becomes accustomed into your system, into your daily routine, that um, it helps you become a better version of yourself. So when you're not exercising, apologies for that, when you're not exercising, when you're not doing those things, you start to feel very lethargic and you start to feel lazy and you start to do whatever. So when you actually do them, it makes you a better version of yourself each and every single day. That works. That works. Also, when it comes to financial personal development, we also need to talk about these things, spending habits. Let's talk about it right spending habits um, really really important to do things like lists of what your essential things are a budget I've done a video on budgeting on my channel just look for it just just got little budgets something like that um, it's really important for me and my sister has recently gone into it as well it's really important to budget to know where your money is going to know what you want to do with your money to control your money and not let your money control you it's a very very important um, form of personal development because at the end of the day you don't want to get to a point where like right now we are in the middle of a pandemic there's so many people who have lost their jobs look not every Everybody can do this and I understand that sometimes with a lot of people it's a living situation of hand-to-mouth where whatever you have you have to buy food so that you can sustain yourself and then I understand that I'm talking about if you are in a place where you have a little bit of money a little bit of wiggle room to play with your money and all of that it is so important to not have your money run you but you run your money so for instance if I give you an example I have not been earning what I normally earn since 
May last year, or maybe April, May last year, but I've managed to sustain myself up until now. We're in February as I record this. But not only that, even in that time when things were bad, I recently closed one of my um, credit cards, which had a really large... <laughs> Uh, limit which had a really really large limit but I managed to close it in a really tough time only because I was very particular about my spending habits I'm only going to spend on what I need what is proper for me and I'm not gonna go around buying makeup or go go around um, eating out when it's unnecessary or doing all those kinds of things and I managed to close a credit card that I've had like for a really long time and I closed it in a really tough time of my life financially so that's really really important another important part of financial development personal development is also saving now also again this does not apply to everyone there are some people who live hand to mouth that they they just can't put money away but if you can put something away like 50 bucks 100 bucks if you can put away more than that 500 bucks a thousand bucks dependent on your um budget your finances and all of that it is so important especially for times like this i know that it's the beginning of the year maybe you were not much of a savings person and you didn't care about those kinds of things that's cool but it's the beginning of a new year why not try something new what are you gonna lose by just popping into the bank and saying listen I know I've got an account with you guys, but I really would like to start an investment type of account where I can put money away and forget about it. Forget about it. The whole idea is the bank can even pull it from your salary where they will like it can, can pull 200 rand and put it into a certain account and you forget about it. You forget that it was even there. Um, so helpful. So, so, so helpful because there are so many unexpected expenses that keep popping up. I know for me, when I was <clears throat> earlier this year updating my policies, funeral policies, life policies, all the policies of the things, adding family members to policies and things like that, I knew I had to consider all of those things that should anything happen to any one of my family members or whatever, how am I going to be able to contribute? How am I going to be able to help? That kind of thing. So saving comes into part, into play with something like that. So, so, so important. So important. Another thing is cultivate a healthy relationship with food. Now, I am going to add this one because for personal development and for my personal development, I had to learn how to cultivate a healthy relationship with food. I, so fast. I had to learn to cultivate a healthy relationship with food because it was important to me. I really, really take care of what I put into my mouth. And I, <laughs> that's what she said. Ha, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> I really, really, <laughs> I really, really, really pay attention of, to what I eat and what I ingest. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. I pay attention to what I eat and what I ingest because it's really, really important to me. I like how I feel when I eat the correct foods. I like how um, energetic I feel after I have a green smoothie or after I have a salad or after I have whatever. But also, it doesn't necessarily mean that I don't eat health, uh, unhealthy foods. Hence why I say cultivate a healthy relationship with all kinds of foods so that you know that if you want to have a pizza, like today is Friday, I could possibly want to order myself a pizza tonight and have a pizza with a glass of wine or a bottle of wine. <laughs> That's also okay. I can also do that. So um, I, I really added this one into this video because I felt like a lot of you guys have the notion or the understanding that I'm constantly eating healthy, that I don't eat unhealthy foods. It's, it's a lie. It's, it's a lie. I do eat unhealthy food. I was having like um, a, a small bowl of knickknacks, chips, yesterday, just yesterday. And I know that it's, it's not what I show on my channel a lot of the time, but I wanted this part of the video to tell you that, you know what? It's because I have a healthy relationship with food generally that I can allow myself 
um, to eat a pizza every now and again or chicken licking or steers or uh, chips or ice cream or whatever because I know that in general throughout the week I'm eating relatively healthy. Um, so if you want to grow your development, your relationship with food, it is a good idea to cut, to try and cultivate a healthy relationship with food. And if that involves seeing a nutritionist, seeing a dietitian, reading up about what's, if you can't afford that, if you read up about what, what healthy food is, what you should have more of in your pantry and all of that, that's also healthy too. That's also good. That's also a good start too. Okay. Okay. So the last thing that I'm going to add is being intentional with your peace of mind. Now, this is something that I started doing this year, being very intentional with my peace of mind. You know, Lauren Hill says it, I gotta find peace of mind. Now, you have to find peace of mind because at the end of the day, life is constantly happening. You're gonna be stressed, you're gonna be unhappy some days, you're gonna be happy some days. And as somebody who struggles with anxiety, I have a lot of unhappy days and I have a lot of happy days, you know, that kind of thing. But cultivating peace of mind for yourself, for your own personal de development is very important and being intentional about it is even more important. I said in one of my previous vlogs where I said that I wasn't in a good space and what I normally do when I'm not in a good space, I try to be busy. I try to always work, be busy, take my mind off of it, not think about it. And for the first time, that, that time ago, about a month or two ago, for the first time I told myself that no, enough. I am actually going to be more intentional. I am not in a good place right now. I'm okay. shutting myself be before I can be okay for others. So also cultivating that peace of mind to know that be intentional with what you are feeling and going through and actually go through it. If you're really happy and you don't wanna record, don't. Like for example, if you're really happy and you don't wanna deal with people that are gonna um, fuck up that happiness, that are gonna mess it up, don't deal with them. Keep it moving, you know? So don't have to worry about things like that. That's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Organize. Organizing your thoughts, your activities, your tasks, organizing your daily affairs is a very, very important part of personal development. Because when you're cluttered in your mind and you don't quite know like whether you're coming or you're going, whether you're this or that, whether you're left or right, north, south, east, west, if you don't know where you are in a particular time and space, it is very, very hard to become a better version of yourself. So organizing is really, really good because you can compartmentalize each and every single aspect of your life. So you know that, okay, I'm gonna see my family members this weekend, I'm not gonna work. That's compartmentalizing a certain aspect of your life and saying that work on the side, I'm gonna focus on me being the me that I am for my family and for my friends and for this. and. Um, organizing your work so compartmentalizing that okay I need to film for JK on this and this and then I need to work on my work work on this and this if it involves getting planners on board if it involves journaling and writing things down and bullet journaling and all of that that is compartmentalizing things for your life doing lists listen all of that kind of stuff you can read up about this but it helps uh, in terms of um, you and your personal development. It is really, really a great way that helps. So I hope that uh, makes sense. I hope this video was quite helpful in some ways or other. I really do hope so. And if it was, definitely give this video a like, click on the notification bell so you know the next time I upload. And I will see you in the next JK video. I was going to say personal development video, but yeah, there, it might come. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and sayonara. Bye.